Hey, how y'all doing? I'm back with another video of showing how I make my pocket knives. First things I want to do is show I fixed one of my mistakes from the previous video. It's Warren Cliff's way back is the one where I accidentally got the pretension set too heavy on it and end up bending the liner. So I had to remake the liners so they're not bent no more. And of course the pretension is set um, how it needs to be now. So it functions like it art too. Anyways, this one is back on track now, thankfully, to where it needs to be. And um, I've been mainly focusing on this country gentleman right here. I have worked on this Warncliffe way back here, basically getting um, bolster material fit up to. Um, the handle material there same as on the country gentleman here of course this is burlap um, the bolster and the shield in ivory g10 and on the bolsters i like fitting them up at an angle that way when everything is pinned together where that's angled it will help pinch the g10 up against the liner and as well as when I contour it, it will put a little bit of a radius right there instead of that being a straight line. And personally, I like the look of the radius. Um, but with this pinching the G10 against the liner, I don't need to do a pin on this end. And I personally think it makes it look a little cleaner, but that's just my personal opinion. Like on a really traditional pattern pocket knife, it wouldn't look as nice without that pin, I don't think. But this isn't a traditional pattern, so I think it goes nicely, I guess you might say. Um, I have this blade with a um, hand sand finish on it now. It's not, oh, the final finish. I'll still go over it one more time before assembly, but it is basically done and i also have my maker's mark i recently was able to get a stencil made um, for my mark and i'm pretty happy with how that turned out but yeah overall this blade's turned out pretty nice i think um let's see here in the back spring i've got a 400 grit belt finish on the inside there and i've got a hand finish 400 grit but it's hand done on the spine and i had the whole knife assembled when i was doing that so the spine of the handle material as well as the liner is hand finished to 400 grit and is all flush now i didn't show doing the shield inlay because i've recently got this little engraver machine here and i've not used it a whole lot yet so i'm still learning the ins and outs, so to speak. Um, so sometime in the future, and I'm more comfortable doing it, I might show, um, do a little video on it. But it's pretty simple setup. You have um, the pocket pattern and the shield pattern. And it, it clamps in here. Of course, all this moves and tightens down. Clamps in it, and you run the stylus end around the pattern and on the cutting end it will cut into your material dandy little machine um it's i'm really pleased with it i'm just still learning the how to use it i guess you might say but anyways my next step i'm going to be needing to do is i'm needing to do some file work on the liners so once i get everything set up there i will be back and show you what i'm fixing to do with that okay i got my liners um i always use the front and back pin in them and um right now i have the inside of each liner facing outwards so the handle material if it was on here would all be on the inside but i'm going to be filing on the part that's going to be facing the back spring on each side so that's why I got it like this. Um, and I'm just going to 
explain what I'm doing. I ain't necessarily going to show the whole thing. Um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I take a blue Sharpie and color the spine here. Now, me personally, I like my first file marked to start where the back spring meets the blade. So I throw the back spring on and I will just very gently make my first mark right there. Then I'll of course take the back spring back off because I don't want to scuff it. Okay. Basically what I'm explaining since I didn't mention is how I set up my uh, markings to go by um, when I'm filing. I'm just using scrap pieces of cardboard here again. That way I ain't scuffing the liner material. Get it to where the ink going everywhere. Okay, it don't take a lot, especially on this part. But I just use a regular old, regular old ruler. And for the pattern I'm doing, I scribe the mark every eighth inch. So. I'm going to start at that little first mark I did right there, and when I'm done, I will be back. Okay. And as you can see, I got my scribe line scribed all the way across at even intervals there. And that's what I do to Keep the pattern even. Of course, you got to be careful because that sharp will rub right off. Especially with where I've got this with a 400 grit finish there on the spine. Um, I will do one or so here just to get you an idea of what I'm doing. And then I will show you how it looks once it's done. But I make sure to keep the pins in there just as extra insurance that nothing moves on me because that is not fun when something <laughs> like that moves and get the file work off anyways i got a little small triangle file to begin with and i just use this file to get my mark started And I go ahead and do three of them. Okay, then I go to this larger triangle file. And it don't take no time at all to file into this soft brass. And I do the large file on the first and then the third mark. Okay, then on the middle mark, take a round chainsaw file. And I get it started with that. Then I go from there and use this like half moon, I guess you might say. One side's flat, the other side rounded. Not sure what kind of what you call this one.
go. That is the start of the pattern. And I will do the other side next. And I always do just a little section at a time to, um, and go back and forth. That way I'm making sure everything is staying even side to side. Um, it might be a little extra moving around, but for me, it just helps me keep things on track. Uh, when I get this done, I will be back and show you how it looks. Okay, I got everything fitted back together. Of course, it's not under tension, but this is how the file work turned out. I still have a little bit of cleanup work left to do, but um, overall, this is actually pretty close to finished on the file work anyways. Anyways, this will do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you want to follow along on my knife making journey, consider subscribing. I hope you all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.